So are you ready for a change? Are you ready for a trip towards a change? I can't hear. Okay, can you please stand up? All of you? Okay, I need you to repeat after me. I am a soldier of Allah. I am a soldier of Allah. Louder. I am a soldier of Allah. I am a soldier of Allah. No, louder. This is not the way of changing. I am a soldier of Allah. I am a soldier of Allah. I am a Muslim. I am a Muslim. I am a Muslim. I am a Muslim. Louder. I am a Muslim. I am a Muslim. It's time for me to wake up. 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 Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. I am willing to change. 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 Okay, I need you now to shake hands with your friends, the one next to you, the one behind you, or the one in front of you, please, and smile in front of your, uh, in front of your fr uh, friends. Okay. Now, the thing, okay, now you can sit down, okay? Then, the second thing is information. You need to have an information about this kind of change. Then, personal, because I said that it's done by individuals and affected uh, affecting the institute. Then you need to have a proper management for your change. Uh, mind control, mind management. Be in control of your mind. Don't be, don't let your mind control you. Then, consequence. You have to repeat whatever you are doing. Because, for example, I take a test and the first time the test, I fail the test. The second time I take the test, I fail the game. The third time I take the test, I pass. So with the two failures, actually, when I look back, it's not failure anymore. It's what is an experience that I did. So all the scientists, whatever they did, they, they, they failed a lot. And these failures actually encouraged them to do more. Because actually life is about choices. It's about choices. Whatever choice that you are making, is deciding for your future actually so make sure that you you choose the right choice then cooperation and last refocusing because whenever you are losing focus you need to refocus again um, and stay away of these kind of uh, of things that may lose you you may lose your focus the first thing is you need to lower your gaze for example, if you are walking to, uh, if you have an idea, but suddenly there is a pretty woman in front of you, and suddenly you don't remember anything because you are looking at the pretty woman. Of course, that is actually the way of shaitan. That is the way of trying to deceive you from to the truth, deceive you from whatever you are uh, willing to do. Now, another thing. It's, for example, if you are trying to study and suddenly you see a notification inside Facebook, Facebook, then you go there and you just say that, okay, I will just see who uh, commented on my picture or who uh, liked my picture. But whenever you click on that notifications, then you will spend not only one minute or five minutes, you will spend maybe two hours in the Facebook and you forget about your studies. So whenever you are trying to study, you have to refocus. Refocusing, the best um, practice to refocus is what? To pray. Because actually, uh, when you lose focus, actually is done by who? Is done by devil, the shaitan, by Iblis. So when you are, every time when you lose focus, you go and pray. Actually, shaitan doesn't want you to pray. So he will stop annoying you. He will stop from uh, making you losing focus. So this is actually the most important thing and it's actually effective way. So whenever you lose focus, you go and make turaka. So start changing. See, actually this is the energy that I'm, talk uh, I'm talking about. Because when you are uh, changing to the good thing, then you leave the bad thing, Allah will bless you. Allah will make barakah on whatever thing that you are doing. And the smile itself, it has a lot of power because the Prophet Muhammad he asked us to be 
uh, to smile in front of our friends, in front of our parents, in front of our brothers or sisters or children. Why smile? Because whenever you are smiling, you are giving your power and uh, positive uh, energy to the recipient and that one actually will change uh, directly and we practice that one uh, just now. And remember, if you want to fly with a falcon, don't waste your time playing with chickens. Okay? If you want to fly away, don't waste your time with chickens. Because chickens actually, they just fly up until here. Maybe if they jump from uh, a bridge or something, they can fly uh, very far. But they don't have any feelings and your attitude is great and uh, you are doing well in your life, then uh, Allah will reward you something that sees, you can see the invisible. And one incident actually happened during the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, after the prayers, uh, Abu Bakr and Amr bin Khattab, the two companions, they moved, uh, they uh, went out from the uh, surah or the mosque, then they saw a man coming from a far away. So they were just uh, guessing. So uh, Abu Bakr, he said that this guy is a biker. His work is a biker. So the uh, Amr bin Khattab, he said that, no, He's a dressmaker. So when he approached him, they don't know him and he's not from the city. So when he approached him, they asked him, what is your, what are you doing now? He said that I, I am now a dressmaker. And Abu Bakr told him that, are you a baker? He said, yes, I used to be. So Allah actually gives you this bless, gives you this note in your life to see the impossible because you are a positive thinker. And to feel the intangible, then achieve the impossible. Why? Because you are thinking positive. So the thing that you need to do is you have to have a daily change kit. It's not heavy, it's not something you carry, it's something you do, it's something you practice. The daily change kit is pray. The first thing, pray the five prayers at their time, then make dua. Every time, whatever happened to you, you make dua. And if Allah doesn't answer that dua, Allah is keeping that dua for something else. Then pray istikhara and make istighfar. Do you know that istighfar actually can bring money, can bring children, can bring husband, can bring wife, can bring a lot of things. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that we call to istighfar rabbakum inna kana ghaffara. Yursil as-sama'a alaykum midrara. So Allah he said that make istighfar and he will accept that. And not only that, he will also make the rain for you. And he will give you money and children. And Allah will make you a lot, uh, I mean like heaven and also rivers in this dunya and also in the hereafter. So make istighfar. This is the most important thing. Then take a good care of yourself. Of yourself. Uh, when you take a good care of yourself, because actually we are Muslims, you are going also to be a role model for your friends or your brother or your sister. So take good care of yourself. Wake up early. Any good uh, nation is the nation that is waking up early. Allah, uh, Prophet Muhammad وسلم, he said that, Allahumma barik l'ummati fi bukuriya. Oh Allah, bless my ummah in their early times. So the early times is the blessing time for you. Then develop another professional skills, uh, volunteer, coach a community, make donation, charity, not only money. Donation is also your knowledge, whatever you are gaining from this university or from other university or from your life, you have to make donation for your knowledge. You have to give it to your friends, you have to give a charity to your uh, parents or to your brother or sister. Then you need to set good example at work and in your community, uh, community because I told you, you are a role model. If you do something bad, everyone will say that Muslims are bad. If you do something good, everyone will not mention anything about that good that you did. Then stay healthy, eat healthy. It's the most important thing for you to change, for your energy to come out. Then share. Share in Facebook, share in Islam tag, share in Twitter. Anything that you find it useful, share it. This is also another way of making charity. Then work in learning another language. It's also to develop, to train your mind, to train the way that uh, manage 
the, uh, the thing inside your head. So be in control of your mind. Don't let your mind control you. Then, after we know about the seven, the eight mistakes that make our change, after we know that the change is a process, is done by one that affect the institute, then we need the keys. After we have an awareness, after we have an, uh, knowledge, after we have an information about that one, we need the key to open the door of a change. Then this key actually is four keys. You need to use them because every key, the first key is opening the, the first key is opening the first lock, the second key open the second one, and it's only work the four together. So the first one is what? Accepting, acceptance, then patience. Optimism. Be thankful to Allah. So these four keys, you need to use it very well. You need to have it to open the door for a change. Acceptance. Accept what Allah gives you, either bad or good, because Allah knows what is the best for you. Allah actually knows what is the best for every one of us. Because He is the creator, actually. If I, am, uh, if I create a car, Okay, or if I create, for example, this mic or a car or anything, then I told you that this car needs uh, water to start running. So do you believe me or not? So I am the creator of the car. I know what is good for, me, uh, for it. So accept what Allah gives you because Allah knows what is the best for you. And but it doesn't mean that you stop doing your best in the future. It doesn't mean that whatever happened to you, you are not doing a good thing to, I mean, to pass that test. And Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he guided Abu Huraira and he told him that be good to your family, then you are the most worshipper in the earth. And accept whatever Allah gives you, then you are the richest man on earth. So accept what Allah gives you and you are the most ri uh, richest uh, man on earth or women on earth. Then be patient. You cannot accept what Allah gives you unless you are patient. Qala ta'ala wali rabbika fasbir. When Allah asks, uh, he is talking to the Prophet, actually he is talking to the Ummah of the Prophet. So, and the third key is optimism. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he mentioned in the hadith Qudsi, he said that, أَنَا عِنْدَ ظَلَّهِ حَبْدِي بِي وَأَنَا مَعَهُ إِذَا ذَكَرَنِي فَإِذَا ذَكَرَنِي فِي نَفْسِهُ ذَكَرْتُهُ فِي نَفْسِهُ So Allah actually he said that whenever you, fear, you think good about me, about Allah, and you believe in Allah, that Allah will uh, help you and guide you well. And if you mention Allah, in yourself, Allah will mention him, will mention you in himself. And if you mention Allah in a group of people, then Allah will mention you in a group that is better than the people, which is angels. Then if you come closer to Allah by one inch, then Allah will come closer to you by more than that. If you come to Allah uh, walking, then Allah will come to you speeding or running. So this is actually a way of teaching us to be optimistic. Whatever happened to us, whatever bad thing happened to us, you need to accept it, you need to be patient, you need to look at the other side. The last key is to thank Allah. So, how to be, uh, this is actually the third slide before we end, how to be a better Muslim. Uh, this is make istighfar, seek forgiveness from Allah, then um, never say to yourself, I wish I was better Muslim, just do it. Make a list of whatever you want to do in your life, in your study, in your, uh, uh, in your job. Lower your gaze because whatever you are trying to see is trying to, uh, I mean, losing focus. Then uh, write a list of whatever you want to do. Study, read Quran and pray the night prayer. Do you know that from midnight until Fajr is the time for the mind to reset, to, uh, to shut down? So that time actually you can use it 
to wake up the mind because the mind doesn't have anything at that time and you can study during that time and whatever study or whatever thing that you are doing will be kept inside your mind so the time from midnight until fajr then talk less and listen more discover observe don't see only just observe whatever around you observe the the creator of uh, the creation of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the, this universe and last but not the least is please like us in facebook follow us in twitter and join us in islam tag to share your knowledge and also to give zakah for your knowledge or for whatever thing that you are doing uh, the link is islamtag.com or you can just search for islam tag in google um, thank you very much for uh, being here and for giving me this opportunity to present and may allah rewards us uh, jannah inshallah and give us the ability to see the invisible and to be a positive thinkers to be a good role model for our nation and to do well 